Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Sea of Thieves on the GeForce GTX 1060 3GB for performance monitoring this time I won't be using Cam since this is a universal Windows application and Cam is not currently working with that so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner so Sea of Thieves I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K to skip down at those sections of the video check the description below so well first of all I'll show you the G4560 on 1080p it will be almost maxed out I only lowered one setting down on shadow slide and textures so you can see pretty much my 60 ish fps target you can crank it up to the maximum if you want except in textures due to the vram and the game will be pretty much over 50 frames per second most of the time so i show you max settings and those slightly tweaked settings for the g4560 then i switch to the ryzen 3 1200 with a 3.9 gigahertz overclock and i'll show you the same thing on 1080p my slightly tweaked settings for more constant 60 frames per second then i crank it up to the maximum except in textures and after that I show you 1440p targeting first 60 then 30 fps so you'll see very reduced settings for 60 and then to be over 30 frames per second I just maxed out the game once again accepting textures and finally at 4k it was impossible to maintain 60 frames per second so I just made a 30 ish fps configuration which means everything pretty much on legendary except in textures which I had to lower to rare because if not the game stutters quite a bit due to the vram the game uses way more than 3 gigs of vram at 4k with legendary textures so i just lowered that one step below and it ran just fine you'll see some drops below 30 frames per second when you're just swimming underwater there i saw drops into the mid-20s so i recommend lowering the water quality a little bit i was a little too ambitious with the settings at 4k but now i'm going to talk to you about the options menu and my experience testing this game so while well, this game was made using unreal engine 4 so i was expecting the usual options in the options menu and we do but there are some stuff bundled in together so we don't have low medium high very high and ultra we have different things we have cursed common rare legendary and mythical which you'll see listed in the bottom left corner of the video each time i'm at the options menu so you know what each of the options means all the options have an impact in performance but so far the biggest impacts in performance were shadow detail lighting detail and water detail and the game does a good job explaining pretty much what those options do except in lighting apart from controlling lighting like the game says it seems to also control ambient occlusion below the common option on lighting you don't have ambient occlusion at all apparently and you can also turn off shadows if you select the lowest setting for that option which is always good if you have a lower end computer model detail also made an impact in performance but it wasn't as big as the other options and the word detail i didn't see a huge difference by lowering it from ultra to rare but it seems to have just more reflections and just more geometry overall i have to say the water in this game looks fantastic one of the worst water i saw in a game so far and in the video options you also have v-sync option frame rate lock option which allows you to lock it even at 15 frames per second just to have an in-game fps counter and you can also see your ping since this game is always online and on the resolution options you have some already set resolutions like 540p then 720p, 900p, 1080p, 1200p and if you have a 1440p or 4k monitor for example you have to select the option called native which means that the game will run at the native resolution that you selected on windows so for example if you want to play at a different resolution for example I don't know 1366 but 768 you just select native and the game should use that resolution instead of 720, 1080, 900p all that kind of stuff so the game should be able to support arbitrary resolutions and another thing that I really liked about this options menu is that when you change something the game doesn't need to restart or anything like that it just changes everything in real time even the textures which is awesome you can see what impact it has on your vram usage so you can see which option you have to use so far four gigabytes of vram seem to be enough for the maximum texture quality but i recommend experimenting with that since you can have more consistency with a lower texture quality option the game says that it requires a faster hard drive to avoid popping with the highest texture quality since this game is always online it's meant to be played with other people and exploring and adventures and all that kind of stuff i'm just unable to do exactly that since i have to repeat the same stuff to do the benchmarks and well due to the nature of the game i just went sailing solo and went into the same island each time this is one of the islands that gave me the biggest impact in performance it doesn't mean that it's the worst but it's one of the worst i found so far which is called pirate's haven you can find it on the map on your ship 
very easy to find, pretty much at the south of the map. And while this island has a lot of geometry, a lot of foliage, trees, some animals, some skeletons to fight every now and then, all that kind of stuff. So I just waited for the sun to come up and started just exploring the place since sometimes when you look very far into the distance, for example you're at the tallest place in the island and looking down in a place where there's a lot of detail, you might see some GPU usage drops, despite the CPU not being at 100% on any of the cores. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I was unable to fix it even with faster CPUs, so it seems to just be a thing with the game. Nothing major, if you ask me. It happens very few times in islands that have a lot of terrain, plus a lot of detail in the distance. When you're just sailing on the ship, it's fine. But you can also see a performance impact when you're just, for example, fighting another ship with three or more players involved. That can be a performance impact as well, but unfortunately, since I cannot repeat that many times, I cannot really add it to the benchmarks due to the nature of this game, as I said a second ago. So this is not everything that you can do in the game, which is just running around in an island, but this is a benchmark video so I'm trying to just show you performance on a place where I had the lowest frame rates which is this island. I also noticed very uneven frame times. It seems that it's because I'm very far away from the server. I'm around 150 to 250 milliseconds of ping which I'm unable to fix. It seems that the servers are just far away from me so the variable frame times are a random occurrence. Sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. So also keep that in mind depending on where you live. I live in South America, so if you live in North America, for example, or Europe, it should be fine. So yeah, overall you can play this game just fine. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.